Welcome to The Beautiful Bag. This is your host, Leanne Hayden, cancer survivor, and more importantly, ostomy lifer. Each and every week, I'm going to be bringing a special guest or some inspiration for you and a few little stories along the way so that you can learn what life is like for us to be living in an ostomy and why we all think it's a beautiful bag. So listen in and let's get started. These testimonials are representative of my or our experiences, but the exact results and experience will be unique and individual to each person. The information provided herein is not medical advice and is not intended to substitute for the advice of your personal physician or other healthcare providers. Hello, and welcome to this week's The Beautiful Bag Podcast. All right, guys, the next few episodes are going to be a little bit different than um, I normally do. Usually we have a guest speaking or I have, you know, just sharing some tips and tricks, which I will do. However, for the next month, (laughs) I will be traveling to Italy. So I'm recording this on Tuesday, April 26th. Not sure when you're going to be listening to it, but by the time you do, when it posts on Wednesday morning, I will already be over in Italy, in Rome, and I am spending the next three plus weeks there traveling all over. So I just wanted to give you guys a heads up, but what we're going to talk about, what I'm going to talk about over the next few weeks, I'm going to pop in here just once in a while and just do some short clips and just share the experiences that I'm having while I'm traveling and what it was like, what I did, how, where I went, um, all the, all of the things, right? So I know us for us in anostomy, sometimes there's some people that may be afraid to travel or not sure quite what to do, what to pack and how to make things happen. So I'm going to just share all the experiences so that you can get a feel of what it's like. So what I did, I'm just going to start with what my packing for this trip. So I am gone for 24 days so far. <laughs> I may end up extending it, but I am traveling. I'm pretty much going the majority of it by myself. I'm going to explain what's going on. Um, so I'm pretty much doing the majority of it alone. Uh, my husband has too much work going on. He has a foundation that we have. And so he's not going to be traveling with me. So I am my first stop will be Rome. So I'm flying in and out of Rome and my first stop is Rome. So I'm going to spend a few days in Rome, you know, guys go see the, going to see the Colosseum and doing a tour and going to Vatican city and doing a tour and all that fun stuff, right? And just looking and seeing what Rome is all about. Then I am taking a train and going to Apulia, which is in the heel of Italy, the heel of the boot. And I am going to a yoga retreat. Now, I've wanted to go to Italy my entire life. And lately I've had, I've kind of been in a place lately where it's not sure what I exactly want to do next from, from a career perspective. So I have owned my own businesses. I've developed things. I've been in direct sales for gosh, the last 12 years. Um, I've been in corporate sales. I've done so many things. I have this beautiful podcast and this great community, but there's something inside of me that's missing. So there's something that my my soul is screaming that I should be doing. And I have some ideas, but a lot of them, a couple of them take a lot of work. So it's going to be a lot of work to put together. And so I'm just, I need, I'm like, I need a yoga retreat. I need to go somewhere. I need to sit. I need to be quiet for a while, do some yoga, do some meditation, explore a bit, be with nature. So my friend found this yoga retreat at this farm in uh, the in in Apulia in Puglia, which is again the hill of the boot in that area of the country. So it's a farmhouse. It's so fun. It's a farmhouse. They have little stay like little huts that you stay in. I'm gonna take tons of pictures. So make sure you're following me on Instagram because I will be posting all the pictures there as well, so you can see what everything is like. But So I'm doing that for eight days. So that's going to be with about 11 other people that are from the U.S. that are flying over that I'm going to get to know. So I won't really be alone that full week. Um, I will be with other people, which is great. And then I decided once the retreat is over, I'm going to take the train and I'm going to go to the Amalfi Coast for a few days. So 
I'll be doing that alone, traveling into the Amalfi Coast. Um, want to go see Capri and uh, Positano and all of the wonderful, beautiful places over there that I've heard of that I've always dreamt of seeing. So I'm going to do that. And then from there, I'm going to be taking a train from Amalfi Coast, from Salerno, all the way up to Florence, where I'm, I have a girlfriend meeting me in Florence, and we're just going to spend an entire week in Florence. Now, we have no plans. We know we probably will take a train and do a half day over to Pisa because it's there. We'll probably do wine country. We'll probably go into, you know, Florence is in Tuscany, so we'll probably do a little bit of a wine tour type thing at some point. Um, but other than that, we really have no plans. And then from there, we're going to travel over to Venice spend a few days in Venice, and then from there, back to Rome, and uh, and then home. So we'll see what happens. So I'm going to take you on this journey. But what I wanted to talk to you about is how I packed. Now, because I'm going to be taking trains everywhere, and I am a woman, and I have a lot of shoes, <laughs> but I'm taking trains everywhere, and I'm going to be walking most of the time. So I knew I wasn't going to bring any heels. Got, ladies and gents, I'm doing this trip with two carry-ons, two carry-on size suitcases and a purse. That's it. So that's what I packed. I packed about 15 outfits in there. Mind you, I rolled stuff, used cubes, used the little vacuum bag, um, the little vacuum bags that you can get for travel. It even comes with a little vacuum thing that sucks everything out that you can plug in. So I got that. I got the right plugs that I need for your, and you know, I, I kept going through everything I needed. Now, the biggest part is packing my supplies because I know I've told you this in one of the stories previously, but I forgot my supplies once. Totally forgot my supplies once. When I was going on a cruise in Florida, I, we, I got off the plane in Florida and we were spending an extra night. Thank goodness we were spending an extra night. So I got off the plane in Florida and realized I had forgotten to pack any of my supplies. I had, well, I shouldn't say any, I had one bag and one flange that's it. That was my, that's what I carry in my purse in case of an accident. So that is all I had. Um, so what did I do in that moment? Thank goodness for Amazon. I had Amazon overnight, some extra bags, extra supplies to my hotel so that I had them on the cruise. All right. So mistakes happen and we can, we can get over it. And some other hints that I found out is you can actually go to a hospital as well and get supplies. So if you ever get find yourself in that kind of a situation, do not fret. <laughs> You'll be able to figure it out. But what I did with this one is I am going for 24 days. Now, usually, I don't know about you guys, but I know that I, my flange stays on my skin every like three to four days is usually, usually it's like four. Um, my flange stays on my, on my, on my stomach, unless I have some kind of a leak or unless, you know, some stool gets underneath and I need to change it. So, um, so that's that. And then my bag with my bags, because I empty them all the time. I wear a two piece. I wear a Hollister two piece. So with my bags, depending upon how much I ate the day before, usually my bag, I empty, I can empty when I go to the bathroom. So I, um, I can actually get two to three days out of my bag. So I really don't need a ton of supplies. However, just in case, I'm going for 24 days. I packed 50 bags. So in case something happens, I can change my bag twice a day. And I packed about 12 flanges. So, and how I did that is I broke up half of the bags and half of the flanges are in the, the carry-on that I'm going to check in my check bag with a pair of surgical scissors, right? They're small scissors, surgical scissors. Those are going in my check in the bag that I'm going to check. The other half went into the carry-on bag that I am taking, again, with a pair of surgical scissors that I'm taking in my carry-on bag that I'm going to be bringing into the, onto the plane. So that way, worst case scenario, if my, something happens to my check bag, I have enough bags so I could even change my bag once a day if I needed to. Um, so there's that. So that's how I packed all my stuff to be able to do this trip. And again, I'm going to be going in and, in and out of train stations, in and out of trains. So I wanted two smaller bags so I could just throw them up above my head so I can take these trains all over. And one plus size that we get is with packing all of those bags, all of our supplies, as the trip goes on, right? The bags are going to become less and less and less. So I just may change my bag once or twice a day so that I can have room to buy stuff to put, to put in my bag to be able to bring home from this trip. So 
you know, that is the plan. I know I'm going to be hitting up, you know, olive oil. We got some excursions on the yoga trip. So we're going to hit some um, olive gardens where olive oil is made, where 40% of the olive oil in the world is made in this one area. So we're going to go there. You know, we're going to go to the lemon fields where they make lemoncello, just all of those fun things. So I know I'll be shipping a bunch of stuff home, but I'm going to have so much that I want to share with you guys. And I want you guys to get to know me just a little bit. I am not afraid to travel by myself. Um, I'm, I should say I don't like it a lot, <laughs> but this one here is almost like a self-discovery, eat, pray. I put the love in quotes because I have the love here at home, um, but a little eat, pray, love type of scenario for myself to kind of go and figure out what's the next step, what's the next thing in life that I really want to go do. Who knows? Maybe it's just traveling the world as an ostomate, and I can meet up with some of you on my travels. So that's one thing, yes, if you're in Italy, if you're listening to this from Italy and you live in Italy, um, send me a message on Instagram. Maybe, just maybe, if we're in this, if I'm in your area, we can get, we can connect and we can get together. Wouldn't that be fun? So just wanted to give you a little update of what's going on. So it's probably, I'm probably gonna be very sporadic with the podcast over the next month. Um, because, you know, if I'm in three days in Rome, I'm done with Rome, I might want to tell you guys about it. Or I might want to tell you something that happened on that day. So there's going to be a whole bunch of fun on this podcast for the next month. And then when I get return, I have a whole schedule of a whole bunch of beautiful people that I will be interviewing. As always, guys, if you have someone that you think I should interview, or if you want to share your own story on the podcast, I would love to have you as a guest. All you need to do is just reach out to me on Instagram and we can set something up. So just make sure that you do that. And that's all I have for you for now. So ciao, and I will be seeing you guys in a few days. So hopefully you guys have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much for joining us this week. If you enjoyed this podcast, get the behind the scenes at leannehayden.com slash ostomy updates. And also, if you found this episode encouraging, please screenshot it and share it on Instagram. And don't forget to tag me and also the person who was on the episode with me. I occasionally will do special gifts for anyone who does do a screenshot and share it on Instagram or in your stories. Also, lastly, please go to Apple or Google, rate, review, and subscribe to this podcast to keep up with them every single week. I enjoy you guys. Thank you so much for being here.